this is worlds better than what it was before. Let me show you what I did to this. There's a couple other modifications, but it's all about the LED lights. Now I am well aware that like a simple RGB or really just a standard LED light is not a very exciting thing, but the Flash Forge 5M Pro has hands down been the single best printer that I have ever used. And what like actually is part of all that is that when I want to print something, it works. I don't have to mess with it. It usually doesn't mess up. It's just, it's my go-to printer. So there's a couple flaws. One, okay, the whole webcam thing sucks. But two, the, R the LED lights inside of it just sucks major monkey. So ignore all this. I've been working it, like trying to get some things. It, it, I'll show you as I go through here. But I had to tear this whole thing apart. It came slightly more complicated than what I would thought it'd be. But at the end of the result, I have nice, even lines all the way through both sides plus i have one above it and the setup that i had before which this is the camera that i have because the camera does still suck had it stuck right yeah and then i had these little lights so now it's world's better i'm running a quick print for something but let me do a really quick video because i'm tired of these long form videos and i want you to be able to keep your attention so let me show you a really quick video of what i did and how easy it was and why i think that if you have this printer you absolutely should do this don't be chicken you can do it you will love it and i'm gonna go out and say it these are lights that i absolutely fall this is like bfg 24 volt rgb cw whatever these are lights that i have a roll of that i wanted to use because they're 24 volts this system provides 24 volts everything lined up it has a little thing in the back so everything just kind of worked the way i wanted it to it took a little bit longer it took a little bit a bit more wiring but i've been running a few few days and i am just so happy so the next thing i gotta work out is a camera because even though this little thing works, I want something that's a little bit more streamlined. But for now, uh, you know what? Let's just let's just jump into it. I'll show you what I had, show you what I did, show you the end result. And hopefully by the time I'm recording this, this little test thing that I'm doing real quick, I'll be able to show you what it looks like. If you see kind of underneath here, this is a little single LED light that came with it. It's not terrible, but it just does not provide the adequate amount of light that I want to be able to see this, especially if you're going to run like a little external camera. It's just one of those things that I really had to replace, which I did. I ripped it out, used a 24 volt power supply. Here we are. Look at this. This is the external power supply. This is absolutely jank and I'm wiring everything through the internals because hey, 24 volts straight from the motherboard. Doesn't matter. This is a little miniature LED strip. I'm not going to use all the RGB, but I am going to use the brighter LEDs with this. And I think I can get away with it just because I'm only going to run one part of the strip. So I can go through, take a look at the RGB, blah, 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 the LED pin, just to be able to like, tap that and then, okay, I have an idea. Let me take this off first, but I think I actually want to add like a little dimmer just in case I want to adjust something for future cameras in the thing. But I'm not going to bore you with all this taking apart stuff. Look at all this behind this. It's pretty simple. Uh, the thing I like about this is it's got is a ginormous power supply that's 12 volts. So that gives me some stuff to work with if I really want to, but I'm not going to tap that for today's video. If you look over here, that little yellow one, that's the RGB hookup. So I'm definitely going to be cutting some wires and removing all the other crap. But let's start off with taking everything out here. Now that I got that done, let's just go ahead and rip this out. I might just start slicing wires because yellow. And, you know, this looks complicated. I originally was going to take out the side, but I quickly decided, eh, screw that. Mainly because these weather strips on the front hide some of the screwdrivers. I don't feel like ripping that off, so I'm just going to work around it. Now, since everything can't be super simple, I do want to add a dimmer. So this is just you know, a few, few different things that I have lying around. This allows me to adjust the voltage. That way, just in case everything's too bright, I wired in my own custom pentometer. pentometer and that should allow me to rewire the knob that way if i want to turn down the leds because it was just overpowering the camera that i may or may not put in this allows me to do that so you know i'm not an expert and i don't recommend this but this is just something I'm... let's do a quick little test this should be like ah, there we go boom that allows me to dim everything up and down should be good I got a few different cuts right here. I'm going to put them on the side, put them on the top, and this is just going to give me lighting all around, and it should be pretty, like, solid and even and, you know, nice and fancy like Applebee's.
Only thing I don't like is that the stickers on the back, not very strong. I'm going to use my own Gorilla sticker because I don't want to do anything else besides Gorilla sticker. And Gorilla sticker pretty much just runs the world. I'm definitely going to try to use the old diffuser on the top just because why not? Just replace the LEDs that are in there. And then on the side, I'm going to put these on the sides where they're kind of at, sort of at an angle. You can see right there. Hopefully they won't be too bright, but I, I don't really know. Either way, this Gorilla tape is going to hold it forever. I mean, look at that expert craftsmanship. I already got everything just kind of sort of wired in. I have to run it through the back, but that's, uh, that's basically the gist of it. So far, so good. It's a little knob right here. I mean, you know, that's fancy. All right, it's booting up right now, so it does take... Ah, oh, look at that. It is so well lit. Oh, man, that's not even the other ones. This is so well lit. I'm dimming it. Everything looks great. I cannot wait. I do have to figure out the camera situation, but... Uh, that, that bad camera work that looks oh, I love it everything is just evenly lit like I, I need a better camera because the flash forge camera sucks but I'm totally digging this right now I haven't had a whole lot of time to kind of go through here and show like demonstration prints or anything like that mainly because I want to work out the camera thing but as you can see from the top you still have the, the fronts and the sides and maybe I should diffuse the sides but I mean look at this crappy ass mess like seriously but I do love these lights Yes, I am kind of speeding through this video because I'm tired of boring people with the long crap. But this is a little test. I can't really explain exactly what it is, but with all of the lights, if you look at this, see if you can see my reflection. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put a camera or something somewhere in here. That way I can maybe run it through blue iris and it won't be sticking on the glass. Maybe I'll put it right here. I don't really know. But this is one of the simplest upgrades to one of the most reliable printers that I have ever used. And it is just awesome. I mean, that, that's it. It's awesome. Flash Forge, thank you. This thing is amazing. I love you. Also, side note, uh, if I can move some of this stuff, I end up getting some cereal boxes and drying out some of my things because as a lot of you have called it, putting everything up on the wall like that did not necessarily work out in my favor. So uh, things got brittle, things started popping. So I'm, I'm definitely starting to take a plunge into drying out all of my uh, different filaments. I had to dry out this white. This is PLA plus. I had to get that going just so it'd be reliable. And uh, yeah, if you guys have an idea for this, this is a $30 thing from you, uh, you big, Unify, Ubiquity, whatever. So yeah, that's it. That's what I got for today. I am seriously trying to make a short video because I bore myself and I don't want to bore you. As always, this is going to be linked in the description. This is, I've ordered so many of these. These have been the best LED lights. You don't have to use every single RGB CW that comes with it. You can wire it specifically to do whatever it is that you want. They are 24 volt. They come in 12 volts and they are the brightest, the biggest, the baddest uh, uh, RGB LEDs that I have ever used on the market. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. This was like a 12 volt camper thing. So anyways, thank you very much for Flash Force sending this over. I can't wait. This is a, I forgot what that is. This is just not whatever. And uh, so, hey guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Sorry, it's been a while. I had a little thing. I had to go through a break and I feel like I'm going to jump right back into this head first and hopefully I can keep to that. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Oh, also, because <laughs> I took a break, if you guys want VPN, and when I say this, if you guys want to set up sonar, radar, uh, prowler, if you want to set up all those things, I have videos to show you how to automate your entire Plex Media server so you just set it up and you don't have to worry about it and your Plex is always updated with the latest stuff and you can run it through your Unraid server. I have been running it since the day I made that video. So you, you get a 30 back money back guarantee if you go to BMB Sucks. I promise you, their speeds have gotten better, the seating's gotten better, the reliability has gotten better, and overall, NordVPN has just been my go to thing. Not even a sellout statement, but I definitely recommend it, and that kind of thing helps my channel a lot. Also, I'm still trying to fund this big ass EP cube thing right there. I'm still trying to figure that out. So any help is welcome. Thank you for watching, like, and subscribe and have yourself a absolutely fantastical, ridiculous, not orgy infused day.